Greetings, dear viewers! I'm Quill Quickcard, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII, where at long last I have arrived in Rocket Town. What's that? Well, you see, Cloud, that is a very crappy rocket at a very unfortunate angle. Rusty old rocket. Wonder what they'd make something that huge for. Alright, what do you gotta sell me? Weapons and accessories. You've got a shotgun. Oof, you've got gold armlets. Oh, God, yes, I need gold armlets for everybody. That's, what, eight? Oh, my God, that's so expensive. But it's worth it. It is worth it for the upgrade. Sorry, I played like six different games today. It's taking uh, taking me a minute to catch up with everything. Uh, Twin Viper. Right. Right. You needed the shotgun. Okay, so the Sniper CR... Mm, that doesn't mean your Death Blow is not going to be as good, but I can live with that. Before I continue, let's do a bit of quick uh, party swapping, just to make sure everybody gets in their, uh, their good stuff. And uh, certainly I can run with uh, with some different characters for this episode. I'll just pause it till I'm done, because this is going to take a minute. Okay, I have the team prepared. We're going with Cloud, Aerith, and Barrett today. Let's quickly top them all off. And away we go! There's two new materia that I want to buy in town. Hello! Hmm, is it real or fake? Uh, definitely fake. Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of it. Did you see a man in a black cape? Man in a black cape? Well, don't know anything about it. Who's the captain? The captain was a pilot when Shinra was still interested in their space program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut. But there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away here, dreaming about going into outer space. Uh, would I like something to drink? Let me hear your story. Did you meet the captain already? He's really the town's representative, so you should really talk with him. Oh no, this poor man in the toilet. I'm in here. Any NPCs up here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so two spells. Two new materia to grab in town. And, of course, we have to get our newest character. Hello. Mm, I'm so bored. Isn't there anything that can get me excited? Mm, I don't know. Let me go talk to your associate. He is. It's boring. Is there anything exciting going to happen here? Um... You... Really should be more cautious about what you wish for in life. That rusted out rocket is all that remains of Shinra's space program. You, sell me materia. Do, 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 do. There we go. We have barrier magic and exit magic. <clears throat> That is two more items off my list. 
The perspectives are really wonky sometimes. All Gramps does is gaze at that rocket all day. So basically, Shinra just had a town of its smartest and most talented engineers and God knows what other science and engineering experts. And then when their space program out failed, they just left them here, huh? Let's see. Do I know any good jokes? Uh, that's a weird question. By the way, I'm taking your stuff. You have to admire the NPCs in Final Fantasy VII. They have really, really good uh, toilet facilities in this world. Honestly, that's probably one thing Shinra should absolutely be thanked for. A drill arm? Really? What two materia should I sacrifice for that? Um, yeah, we can just drop those. Uh, I do want you to start learning the exit magic, though. But hey, great news! Now you have a double growth weapon, too. Hello. I've come to visit. Oh my. There's a Shenra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. The Shinra always keep the most useful things to themselves. Let's steal it. Um, may I help you? No, we're just looking at it. If you would like to use it, Please ask the captain. The captain should be at the rocket. I'm Shira. Ed, what are your names? I'm Cloud. I'm Barrett of Avalanche. I'm Aerith. Hmm. So you're not with the Shenra. I thought the approval for the reopening of the space program came. Hmm? But President Rufus is scheduled to come here. Captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus! My god, that sneaky bastard. We cannot allow him to exist. We will burn this town to the ground to kill Rufus. And then, just to not raise any suspicion, we will replace everyone in the town with paid actors and rebuild it precisely. And if anyone comes and points out the inconsistency, we will gaslight them. Because apparently that's how to handle conspiracies, I guess? Duh, duh, duh. The Shinra Type 26 rocket. They really should have dismantled this. Like, if this thing was going to space, there's gotta be a crap load of fuel in these things. Hello. What are you guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. The captain? I'm the captain. Hello, Sid. It is a pleasure to have you, my ninth and final party member. My name is Sid. Everyone calls me Captain, though. What do you want? Uh, is Rufus coming? Yeah, must be news about restarting the space program. A young president, that's what we needed. He still has dreams, too. What do you want? Tell me about the rocket. Wow, not bad for a kid. All right, then I'll explain it to you. You know Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during that meaningless war, right? Now it's a Mako company. But in the old days, it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space, our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and finally made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world, me. I mean, come on. 
And finally, we get to the day of the launch. Everything was going well. But because of that dumbass Shira, the launch got messed up. And that's why they became so anal. And so, Shinra Nix, they're out of space exploration plans. After they told me how the future of space punks are exploration and got my damn hopes up. Damn them! Then it was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, Bulan, to Nero, my dream was just a financial number for them. Well, I mean, they are a company. Look at this rusted rocket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day, it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will come down first. This thing falling down and me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. Well, cool. Nice meeting ya. Do, 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 do. Just to make sure so I don't have to climb all the way back here, you don't actually have any more dialogue, do you? Can we borrow the tiny Bronco? Yeah, you damn mind! That's my most cherished possession. Can't let you take it. Well, it was worth asking. Can't say I blame him, though. I mean, we did just walk up to him and declared, hey, man, can we borrow your private airplane? Yeah. Sounds a bit unreasonable when you phrase it like that, don't it? Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 Hey, Shira. They told us something cool about how you totally screwed up a guy's hopes and dreams. I just thought I'd come look and see if you wanted to talk about how you ruined his life. You know, see, it seems like the next objective. Do Excuse me, Cloud? Did the captain say anything? Nope. Oh. Damn, Shira! What are you, blind? We got guests! Get some tea! Damn it! I- I'm sorry. Really? Don't mind us. Shut up! Sit your ass in that town in that chair and drink your goddamn tea! Ah, damn, I'm pissed. Shira, I'll be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco. Make sure to serve them some tea, all right? Wow, what a charmer. Damn, man. What's up with that guy's attitude? Sorry, it's our fault. No, no, he's always like this. Is it like this all the time? You keep quiet even when he's like that to you? No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Oh no, I'm having a flashback. Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon would get tired waiting around for your ass. I'm... I'm sorry. Yeah, you were already treating her like shit long before she screwed up. Don't take so much time checking that damn oxygen tank. Shira, being careful's good, but it won't do any good no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank. That thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. But... No buts! You're not stupid, so be more efficient. I'm sorry. You got problems, man. 
Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We are so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yes, yeah, leave it to all to me. I'll be back in a few. All right, Captain, fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel all clear. Shinra number 26, ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shinra number 26, three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who's the little ass? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the search engine section. Hey, goddammit! Who the hell's still down there? It's Shira, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. You've got issues. Shira! What are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little bitch! It's gonna get so hot in there that there ain't gonna be shit left when we blast off! You're gonna burn to a crisp! You're gonna die! You know that, don't you? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. I refuse to believe it. Almost done? You're gonna die! Sid, we must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute. She was still in there. What are you going to do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. I mean, that is literally not even worth asking. <laughs> if you're really serious about this, did delay six months. God damn it, Shira! You want to make me a murderer? Captain! Shira? Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shira. Hurry up. You're gonna die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. We won't make it in time. What? What am I... What am I supposed to do? You, you, you abort. Like any sane person. It's obvious. 15 seconds until ignition. Internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon, out of space, my dreams! Dude, it's a six month delay. You'll live. Ignite engine. Shit! And I'm almost 100% certain that she would already be very, very dead just from that. Yeah, that is absurdly dangerous. Okay, so maybe Shinra decided to leave the people here because everyone in this town is a not safety conscious lunatic. He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was cancelled. It's my fault his dream was destroyed. That's why it's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. I mean, that's a nice story and all, Shira, but yeah, I can't help but notice that I still don't have any goddamn tea. Shira, you still haven't served him tea. I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down, or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? They're late. Where is Rufus? 
Hey, hey! Long time no see! Ah, uh, so Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't the Fat Man Palmer, how long were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when's the space program gonna start up again? <laughs> hey, I don't know! The uh, president's outside, so why don't you ask him? Damn! Good for nothing, fat ass! Don't say fat! I, I know my model has the shape of an egg, but that's just something we have to deal with. Hey! hey tea! Uh, can I have some too? Uh, with lots of sugar and honey and... Uh, oh, oh yeah, don't forget the lard. Okay, Shira, seriously. You know what? I'm, I'm starting to think the problem really is you, because I still don't have my goddamn tea. I love tea. Give me my tea. <sighs> what a failure. What the? You got me all excited for nothing? Then what'd you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going after Sephiroth, but it seems we've been going in the wrong direction. But now, we think we know where he's headed, but we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. Damn! First the airship, then the rocket, now the tiny Bronco. Shinra took outer space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my. You seem to forget it was because of Shinra that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. Shira, I still don't see any table, any tea on the table. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palmer's going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? Sure, I, I can go talk to Fat Man Palmer. Hmm, eh, why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program! We'll be taking that tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know, the Shindra building! When the president was killed! Well, s s security! Really, Palmer? What kind of security could you possibly have to threaten me with? I see. You have a Mako gun. Very impressive. But not as impressive as my super spell. Go, Mako Gun! Aerith, introduce our friend here to Odin. <laughs> ah, got my ass! Okay, if that's how you want to play this, Palmer. Allow me to introduce you to a new associate of mine. His name is Odin, and he can throw his spear so hard that it can cut through a mountain. And uh, that is not hyperbole. That is literally what happened. Honestly, I'm surprised you survived that. You can really take a hit. I'm impressed. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. Uh-oh. R really, Palmer? Ah! Oh, dear God, he's been hit by a truck. <gasps> Did Palmer just get Isekai'd? Oh no, I think Palmer got Isekai'd. And I got an Edencoat. 
I don't know what an Eden coat is. It won't stop! Forget it! Get in! Go, go, go! You really should not stand on the outside of the aircraft during flight. That is a very bad idea. I'm pretty sure none of you are actually piloting this thing. You are all going to die. Damn, how fast can Sid run? That is kind of absurd. Tail's been hit! Emergency landing? This is gonna be a big splash! Hold on to your drawers and don't piss in them! Too late! Honestly, not bad at the landing. An interesting sound effect there. She won't fly anymore. Can we use it as a boat? Fuck! Do whatever you want! Sid, what are you going to do now? Don't know. I'm history with the Shimra, and I've given up on the town. I've even given up with Shira. I just don't know how I can't respect a woman who doesn't know how to serve the goddamn tea. How about your wife? How about Shira? Wife? Don't make me laugh. Just think about marrying her gives me the chills. What are you guys gonna do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to get Rufus of... We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... Eh, uh, what the hell? Sign me up! How about it, everyone? I'm all for it! Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. Numbskulls? Yeah! Anybody stupid enough to go up and get children nowadays has gotta be a numbskull. I like it. So, where are we headed? Uh, Rufus said he was going after Sephiroth toward the... Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it? That Temple of the Ancients. I don't know. No old skin was telling me it was heading the wrong direction, so maybe it's off this way? Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. All right. I got a friend. How to fly the Tiny Bronco. Press the OK button to get on, cancel, get off. Tiny Bronco can cross shallow waters and rivers. Players can get off and on at a beach. So I am going to head north to the shores of Wutai. Uh, assuming there is a beach in Wutai. I'm actually not finding a beach in Wutai. So, what was that thing I got? An Eden coat? What on earth is an Eden coat? Oh, it's a bracelet. Okay. It's a bracelet with more materia slots. Uh, sure, barrier, the counterattack, why not? Uh, we'll even throw a gravity on there for good measure. Uh, Aerith, our time with you is starting to run short, so you're going to stay in the party. And Sid is replacing Barrett. 
Welcome aboard, Sid. You get a spear, a gold armlet. You don't start with any materia. Uh, we can drop a revive, a heal. Honestly, it sincerely doesn't matter what I put on you for the time being. Sure, cover. Uh, now as far as limits go, so far you only have boost jump. So you actually need a hyper to do this efficiently. I've only done a half hour so far. I don't... Oh, that's just Rocket Town. Okay. Um... If I had any way to access Wutai, I would? Maybe if there's a beach down this way, I can hike it in from the south, but it might simply be un uh, inaccessible for the time being. Okay. Uh, this, this, this is the beach of Wutai, so... If I can head north, just one sec while I make a few adjustments to my checklist here. And there's a few, there, there's at least a couple enemy skills that I can get around here. Okay. So, on the beaches around Wutai is a turtle. So, I am looking for a turtle on the beach. Come on, beach turtle. Oh, I just realized this is pointless because I don't have my enemy skills on. Um... Actually, I don't suppose you guys could just, like, run away real quick. Thanks. Sorry for the confusion. My dearest apologies. Let's actually fix that. Cloud, you've got plenty of slots. You've got enemy skill. And now you've got the other enemy skill. All right. I'm sorry, Mr. Turtle. We're, we're ready for you now. Please come back, Mr. Turtle. Mr. Turtle? Mi Mr. Turtle? Mr. Turtle, we miss you. Please return to us. Fill our lives with hope and love and light once again, as is your want as a turtle. And then, please put a hat on your head. So that you can be like the guy from Elden Ring, who's just awesome. Muriel, that was the name. Okay, we have manipulated it, which is necessary in order to learn Death Force. And that is Death Force Learned. Just knock that one off the list. Okay. Death Force. And one small edit to the note. And boom. There we go. Alright, next target. There is another enemy skill. Uh, you can learn Magic Hammer from a Razor Weed enemy. Razor Weeds can be found in the fields outside of the Wutai area. And we will need to use Manipulate on them as well. Okay. Uh, assuming I can even access any of it...
Oh. What an inconspicuous field. Wait, 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 wait! What the hell is it? Shouting, shout, jumping in front of me all of a sudden. I know this area pretty well. Gets pretty tough past here. Better get ready. Hey, you serious? If you're trying to con us, you won't get away with it. No, it's really tough. There they are. Catch them. Uh-oh. Hey, the Shinra! Hey, that's not them. These are the other guys from before. Yuffie, you sure got some nerve, kid. I didn't know. I have nothing to do with this one. What do you mean, this one? This one? So you were planning some crooked shit. No, um, uh, what should we do? Uh, get them, grab them, and ask questions later. Okay. I suppose that's one way to handle a threat. We are up against Attack Squad A. And yes, we have no materia. We are now dependent only on our uh, limits. So it's good that we brought along Aerith, since her limit is able to instantly fill the limits of her companions. Get him, get him, get him, get him. That's right, everybody, it is time for the Wu-Tai Materia Stolen Side Quest. Which is not starting out very well, as my entire party is full of people who are currently asleep. Okay, Sid is putting in all of the hard work here. Okay, so Sid just repeatedly stabbed the guys to death while you two took a nap. Thanks a lot. Mm, good, we got a smine. What the hell's going on? I knew I was missing something. My materia's gone. Hey, where's Yuffie? That little bitch. Taking me for a fool? No doubt about it. That kid was after my materia from the very start. Hmm. Seems like she went north. Don't be dragging your asses. We're going right now. That shit is history. Alright, the little Kusagaki has decided to rob us. And our only option is to chase her down and get our materia back. Uh, problem... Oh, no, 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 there, there's a bridge up here, okay. I was thinking I didn't actually know how to access the area where she went to, but... This makes sense. Da, da, da. So what are we fighting up here? Alright, preemptive attack, no need to waste time on it then. Run for the hills. I like how the bridge kind of moves and makes noise. Alright, do I go down and around? It looks like that might access flat grassland that could lead all the way to Wutai. Alright, get them boys! And Aerith. And I would prefer it if all of you could please attack Sid repeatedly. Uh, Sid needs to learn some new limits. And the only way that's going to work is if he attacks, so... Please assist me with my project. Okay. Good. Um, I think this, oh, okay, good, there's, there's another bridge, all right. Yeah, the subtle movement and sway of the bridge, the sound it makes, those are the little bits of polish that really sell it. 
If only we still had our materia, we could pick up another enemy skill here, too. But alas, we do not. Go, 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 move in. Boy, Sid, you sure love stabbing people, don't you? Go, go, go! Good, good. I'm gonna kill you and there is nothing you can do about it. Ah, uh -huh. ooh, three Phoenix Downs. That is some pretty good spoils. Nearly there. And so at last, I have reached Wutai, where presumptively Yuffie ran away to, taking our materia with her. This will not stand. I will hunt her down. I will get back what she stole from us. But that's going to have to wait until the next one.